Hello and welcome once again. I'm Steel Walrus. You are awesome. And we are back again with more Star Trek Online with our beginner friendly walkthrough of the uh, main storyline. So let's go ahead and pick it up. As we learned last week, or last episode, uh, you can open your mission journal and you can look about or look at getting into secret orders. Now, this may be a two parter episode, folks, because. These last couple of bits here, with the, uh, it's called the Klingon War Arc, I believe is what it's referred to as. Yeah, the Klingon War Arc, and you can see here kind of what's going on. Um, they start getting long-winded. Also, side note, you can replay these things. Um, so you can get the rewards you would get for completion again if you want, if you want to grind certain things. Um, or if you just really like that story, we're going to go ahead and hail the contact for this Commander mission. Commander Burgess, Starfleet Intelligence. There's something I'd like you to look into. It could change the course of the war in our favor. We have intel suggesting that the Klingons are operating a secret weapons facility in the Hiromi Cluster. We also believe the base is under the command of Ambassador Bavat, a controversial figure in Klingon politics. I'd like you to get to the truth of the matter and soon. To that end, I'm sending one of my top agents to join you on the mission. I think you'll find Lieutenant Van Zyl to be a very capable officer. Don't hesitate to seek her counsel in the field. Proceed to the Briar Patch and find out what the Klingons are up to. If there are any weapons there, you are to deactivate or destroy them. And should you encounter the Ambassador, do bring him in. I'd like a word. All right, so we got our missions. We're going to the Briar Patch, which is, uh, of course, something we would know from DS9 and Voyager, if I remember correctly. And I think it comes up a little bit in Next Generation, but it's mostly those two. All right, we'll get some uh, consoles that'll add us some extra buffs. Uh, step up from what we currently have, and of course we'll get some other little bits of bobs there. Admiral Quinn says you're the right officer for this. Let's go ahead and uh, do our thing. Alright, gonna press the button. We're gonna transwarp. And away we go! I am willing to suspend all kinds of disbelief so we don't have to drive all the way across the galaxy. Now, you'll notice here we also have a system patrol, which is a, uh, a new thing we have access to. I believe that actually came with uh, level 2, so patrol missions come with level 2. That being said, we also have unlocked PvP and uh, we got a new bridge officer, so we'll, we'll talk about that at some point. Uh, I don't see one in our inventory, but uh, let's go ahead and do secret orders. Personally, I, uh... Oh, nice. We've got a trill here. Personally, I would rather do a patrol in a higher level. Uh, yep. So, let's go. I look forward to solving this little mystery. Long-range sensors are picking up several Klingon battle groups. They appear to be placing self-replicating disruptor cannon turrets throughout this region of space. We need to take those cannons out. Anything else? Okay, we need to stay four kilometers away from the clouds. Just in case they ignite. Okay, we need to destroy these Klingon disruptor turrets. We modify the Bassards. Okay, so if I were a science uh, class, I could actually do that. Again, it's uh, it's important to be aware of these sorts of things. We'll see what happens when you hit Metreon. You'll notice other Metreon gas clusters explode as well, which is pretty cool. And we are not going to be able to go over 
uh, our regular impulse. We can't boost because we're in this area. So we're just going to have to sort of scooch along. I'll probably just mute up and probably just mute up and do this. So you guys don't have to sit here and watch me for 20 minutes. Unless, of course, you really want to. Um, probably just, like, speed it. Like, uh, in the editing. Okay, so we've got a battle cruiser off of our port there. Let's fight. Okay, he's dipped back behind the rocks. Means we've also broken light, line of sight. Works out for us. Just in case. Oh, our old buddy's back, but uh, we're going to focus this target down. That's what you should always do, is focus on one target at a time. Okay, we've knocked his shields out. Hit him with two torpedoes. Okay, not bad. We're going to hit that Metreon gas real quick. Okay. Toratinga is taken care of. We're good to go. I'm going to mute back up and get to the other turret. And that's another end up. Uh, you'll note that I'm hitting this and this to get a little extra speed. Uh, and the reason for that is because putting extra impulse speed gives you more speed and more maneuverability. It's really great if you want to be able to turn your, if you want to be able to turn your nose. Um, just like this allows you to get more weapon power. Uh, more defense power, and then you can also balance it back out if you want to. You'll notice that affects my shields. All right, sensors are picking up energy signatures near the large asteroid. Looks like uh, defense turrets are guarding the facility on the asteroid surface. Judging by the layout, I am reading here. Uh, KDF, I'm just going to let y'all read that because my throat hurts. All right, so looks like we are going... Straight on ahead. I'm going to put power to impulse and go ahead and scooch. Alright, now we get some hit and run tactics going on.
There we go. Now we can just beam down to the station. Simple as. Your permission, I'll join the away team. I believe they're standing by awaiting your orders. Let's go ahead and beam on over to the station. Right. More dwelling, this one won't flicker so hard. Yeah, we got several Klingons in the area and two additional life signs, possibly hostages. All right. Go ahead and pull our pistol out. We're going to breach the door. Bam. All right. Pick on in here, see if there's anything hiding. Nope, we're clear. Let's go. Okay, scanners are picking up some Klingons up ahead. Oh, we got him. Alright, in this door we're going to have to breach again. There's a whole lot of nasty on the other side of this door. Okay, kick on in. Let's go. Arg Handler has himself been handled. Oh, ooh. All right, I'm gonna go scan this this uh, hostile gas signature up here. A little little joke there. It's uh, it's gas. It doesn't really possess hostility. Probably. I mean, it's Star Trek, so maybe. Okay, let's uh, get this doctor, Everly. These Klingons have had me designing weapons for them at Disruptor Point. The scientists who finished their research are taken away. We are the only two left. Oh no. I'd be happy to tell you what I know, but ask fast. Hey, what do you know about the weapons? Klingons are planning something big. They have been forcing us to design weapons. They want improved disruptors and torpedoes for their ships. But some of their demands have been very specific. How so? They want a weapon that can punch through solid neutronium, which is impossible. And they keep talking about torpedoes with payloads big enough to destroy a small planet. Were any of you successful in this? There are prototypes of some of the new weapons in the laboratory here, as well as schematics on the base computers. If I were you, I'd destroy the prototypes and the schematics. Neither side needs that kind of destructive power. Respectfully disagree. All right, let's find those weapons. Yes, yeah, so we've got more yet to do, so let's go ahead and kick on through. Reach to this door, knowing that there are Klingons right here. An anomaly down that way. Game is very bright. Okay, and we're going to kill these guys over here, because I don't want to do objectives without taking care of the enemies, that just doesn't make sense to me. Like, I know you can, but that feels silly, right? Like, it's like, oh, I'm going to go do this in, like, intense labor while there are still people who want me dead right there. Hey now. That was rude. 
my dude. Alright, Tetrazine gas, let's go. Get some of that. And then... There we go. Alright, planted some explosives. We're going to grab this crate. Also melt Deborah and whiskey. We're going to take all of that. We're going to have to celebrate later, of course. Uh, let's go with a spatial charge on this guy here. Torpedoes are quite large, if you didn't know. They're not quite the lozenge that you're familiar with from... Um, like, I guess, I guess we only really see them in, uh, a couple of, a couple of episodes of, I want to say, not Next Generation, um, Enterprise and DS9, and of course there's the the sarcophagus or the coffin they send uh, Spock out in. Okay, let's go. Download computer data. Let's go. Oh no, an ambush. Call an ambulance. For them. I'm gonna take some uh, stuff. Now we're gonna return to the ship. The preliminary analysis indicates something is happening. A uh, Klingon vessel is leaving the facility. We should really get back to the ship. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I think this is probably face, face at last with one of the Federation's greatest officers. I've read much about you, though I'm not as impressed as our intelligence agents are. After all, you were rather easily led to this system by a few well-placed pieces of bait. I've had pet togs with more sense. Well, that's not very nice, sir, Pavad. I have everything I need from the research station, but I must say, humiliating a Federation war criminal is, as the humans say, an added bonus. Listen, don't flatter me. <laughs> Try to stop us if you must. However, I won't think poorly of you if you walk back to Earth with your tail between your legs, there to whimper at your master's feet. You have lost this day. Victory is mine and mine alone. Kapla! What's the situation? Never mind, Bavat, LT. Uh, we have more immediate concerns. I'm reading several Klingon ships on sensors, and it looks like they're attempting to escape the system. Looks like they're trying to use the asteroid belt to mask their warp core SIGs. If we hurry, we could be able to intercept them. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. out of that. Let's swap back to our uh, impulse and we're going to try and catch up that Katinga. Never mind the Magnuside ore. By that I mean I'm going to scan it down anyway. All right. 
right. All the weapons. One more battle. There we go. Or salvo, really. Okay. Once this uh, red alert goes away, we should be able to detonate the explosives. Excellent work, Lieutenant. Bavat won't be getting his hands on those experimental weapons that he seemed to be pretty content that he did get. Um, we recovered a lot of actionable intel from that base. I've transmitted the data we pulled to their computer core, or from their computer core, to Starfleet Intel. Here's hoping it gives us the edge we need to bring an end to this conflict once and for all. All right, let's depart the system. I believe this will count as an episode. All right, so we are going to hail Virtus. I've read the after-action report He's filed call us by before Lieutenant we have Van the chance. Pity we weren't able to apprehend Bavart, but I'm glad we shot that weapons facility down. Nicely done. As for that weapons research the Klingons were conducting, Starfleet has some of our best people analyzing the data you recovered. We'll find out what Bavart and his people were doing there soon enough. There's a lot more intel to analyze, and I suspect we'll be working again soon. Klingons don't tend to think small, and we'll need the best we can get to deal with Bavat and his... Machinations? Alright, cool. So, we're about to choose some different stuff. Uh, that's going to give us more beam weapon damage, which sounds pretty good. Uh, what does this do? Okay, that improves exotic damage, which I think is... Not something we have going on right now, so we're going to focus on directed energy. Uh, we'll collect that reward. Alright, now that's a cool uh, cool episode we're going to do next time. Intelligence needs you go somewhere else. I'll call you in a minute. Alright, so... <laughs> I'm just like, no, I'm, I know you're an admiral and I'm a lieutenant, but screw you. No. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll do this. I'll go ahead and fix all of my stuff up since we've talked about that to some extent uh to pretty great extent i feel at this point um but if at any point you're ever curious about my build or how i'm putting things together i uh, always feel free to comment and ask uh that said we'll have probably a more in-depth conversation about fittings as we go deeper into things like ships and whatnot anyhow i've been steel walrus you've been awesome I appreciate y'all watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you haven't already done that. And because this is Star Trek, you know I've got to do it. Live long and prosper. Peace out.